You think there's a cold beer for us at the end of all this? Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the comfort and convenience of Black Well, this is a familiar sight, isn't it? Hello again, Black Mesa. Hello again, everybody. My name is Oaks Fu, and welcome. Welcome to Let's Blindly... Blindly. Let's play... Half-Life Blue Shift. Oh my god. Habits are hard to break. <laughs> but yes. This is anything but blind. I mean, I haven't played it as much as the other Half-Life games, but... It's a very short game in the Half-Life series, so it's a very easy one to go through. Well, as I said, a familiar scene. Uh, interesting, seems like we've got some new models on our hands. Scientists without their shirts. Scandal! <laughs> hmm. And things are blue. Disabled passengers should be evacuated well, first. Gordon Freeman's Please color it's orange. What's going on? I think I think something weird's going on here. I think it's time to check who we really are. A high security area beyond Oh. Well, that doesn't work. <laughs> are we Gordon Freeman? Are we not? What's going on, man? We're not Gordon Freeman. Anyway. Half-Life Blue Shift. One of the very first games made by Gearbox Software. Fantastic people who made games like Borderlands, Borderlands 2, later in their catalog. They were also the people who made the very first expansion for Half-Life, Half-Life Opposing Force. Fantastic game, I'll be doing it at some point. Uh, but, yeah, they pretty much got their reins to do both of the expansions. Actually, there's a third one that I'm forgetting about, Half-Life Decay, and... They're pretty damn good, as I hope you'll see, even though this one's a little short. Hey! Hey, Otis, how's it going? Like we're in for a long day today. Oh, I know, tell me yeah, about it. One, oh, I'll try, but you know. Anyway, we're Barney Calhoun today. One of the many identical security guards. Almost identical, I mean, there is Otis. Roaming the halls of Black Mesa, trying to keep these scientists safe from their own experiments. But we all know how that ends up in the end, don't we? And somehow... With only two years at some no-name college, an undecided major nonetheless, somehow we were able to snag this sweet job at a highly classified research facility. I mean, jeez, talk about low standards. Anyway. Now arriving at Area 3 security facilities. Hey, wait a minute. Who's that? Could it be? Oh my god, looks like it might be our old friend, the G-Man. Oh no, it's only Gordon Freeman. God, that guy, always underfoot. Jesus Christ, I mean, this is typical. Come on, let me in. Oh, come on, he's gonna see me. It's gonna get awkward. Uh, oh, oh, come on. Oh, he's looking right at me. Come on, I made eye contact, man. Now he's gonna like, talk to me about it. Be like, hey, man, you feel like getting a beer afterwards? I'll be like, hey. Catch me later. Get you a beer. <sighs> I hate okay, saying that line. Body. But anyway, this was one of the very first games developed by Gearbox Software. Sorry about that, Calhoun. We've been having problems all over the facility this morning. System crashes, security malfunctions. It's a wonder this whole place hasn't shut down yet. And what a game it is. 
Aw oh, man, and this was part of the golden age when you could just take bits and bobs of code and models and just slap them together on top of another game and make an entirely new game. Oh, they don't really do, do that anymore, do they? Well, actually, I guess there is Daisy, uh, Zombie Panic, which eventually came became Left 4 Dead, and of course there's always all the stu crazy stuff that people are doing with Minecraft. Actually, this kind of pales in comparison to those kinds of things, doesn't it? Because this is pretty much straightforward ha Half-Life, but just in a different setting. Hmm. I can't access hmm. my files. I can't answer my mail. I haven't even been able to get into my office. I know, sir. I know. We're doing everything we can to get the problem under control. Just give us some time to... Time? I don't have any more time. If I'm not able to get my report to the administrator in the next hour, then my job will be in serious jeopardy, and I'll make sure that mine is not the only one. Oh, oh, oh office politics galore. Man, I know what you must be going through this early in the morning. Looks like somebody's got a case of the Mondays, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's get our sidearm and stuff. So, yeah, nice right. of you to show up this morning, Calhoun. Hey, screw yeah, you. Yeah, I know. Problems with the access system. Hope you're ready for a long shift. Hey, look, the train was late, and I got a call from my girlfriend. She wasn't having a great day, so I had to spend a little time. And then I missed the train down here. Well, you, know, you don't even care, do you? Uh, we going the right way. I can never tell with these color-coded... Guidelines. I mean, you're really, you're really lucky that not one of us is colorblind. Otherwise, otherwise, there would be hilarious antics where we just accidentally walk into the women's room or something like that. V, v Vert, Lombardi, Phillips, Troc. I hate Troc. Jones, Dunn. Man. Just another day at the office. I hate going on shift. I can't wait until my break and read about the truth about aliens again. <laughs> um. Alright, so, uh. I guess this is as good a time as any. Let's see if I can get it right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, and. No clip. No, it's not working. Hmm. All right, well, anyway, first Easter egg. I'll see if I can freeze frame. <laughs> There's a guy in there. That's it. I don't remember what it is. I'll have to look up the details <laughs> later. Um, it's obviously one of the developers or developer's friends, but I don't remember. I think he's got... supposed to just have, like, insect eyes. But anyway, we got our armor. Let's go get our sidearm, shall we? Enough lollygagging around. Come on, it's already like. Looks like some people are having problems with the main access lift in sector God, G. God damn it! Not again. Go over there and see what you can do. It's always me. I just go over there and I flip the switch from off, from stop to run. God damn scientists! You know they could blow up the the world with the the flip of a switch, but they can't even control a goddamn elevator. What are we even paying these guys for? I mean, they get the hefty government contract. <laughs> You know, I better actually, like, cool down in the video surveillance room before I go get my sidearm, otherwise it's just... <sighs> Calm down, Calhoun. Anyway, if, uh... I don't know what I have to say. Ah, God damn it, Gordon Freeman! Like I said, everywhere, always underfoot. That guy. Hate him. Jeez, why does he get his own game? Well... <laughs> oh, and we're actually gonna meet uh, a character from another game in a moment, as soon as we can stop looking at that guy struggling for his donut. I believe her name is Dr. Gina Green. Might have that wrong. But she's actually from a, uh, another game. I don't think it's by Gearbox. Might have been. A game called Half-Life Decay. That was only released for the PS2 as a part of a uh, Half-Life bundle, I guess. Now, it was a disc that could contain both Half-Life and Half-Life Decay. 
And it's actually a co-op Half-Life game. Um, there are a couple people that are modded versions of Half-Life or some stuff like that, so you can actually just play it on PC. Might actually do it at some point. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you? Here you go, Calhoun. <laughs> I know you're not on the schedule for a couple more days, but if you want to squeeze in a few shots in the range, there's plenty of room. Well then. I'll squeeze off a couple of shots. Ah! I've had it with this goddamn job. <laughs> So yeah, there are a lot more uh, failure messages in this game for, uh, than the original game. First of all, improperly handling weapons. Can I break this glass? No, okay. Don't worry about me wasting my ammo. We got plenty that we can grab. And we won't be using this weapon terribly long. Oh man. I made all my shots. Perfect. Right within the circle. <laughs> no, no, no. Here, here's what I'll do. Alright, guys. Try to beat that grouping. Huh? Huh? You're just an idiot, aren't you? <laughs> Don't worry, this won't be the last time we see Otis. After all, Barney and Otis, they're quite the pair, aren't they? Except I guess it's kind of the reverse of the Andy Griffith show this time. Barney's the competent one. I don't know if that's actually the official reason why they were called Barney and Otis, but... Anyway, neat bit of uh, trivia about the naming. So apparently they were just they just had the first names in the models for the characters and well Gearbox decided to take those names, run with it, flesh out some of the minor characters that we see throughout the games. Anyway. Have a good one, Calhoun. I'll have a good one now that I've got some cold iron in my fist. Really needed that. This was also, uh, I believe it only came out on the Dreamcast as well. Never trying. To, uh, it's just an abyss. <laughs> it's funny until I let's play these, I never really explore. Well, a little bit. All right. Yes, this should help. That doesn't sound good. Doesn't sound right. Let me help you. Okay. I hope you know what you're doing. Of course. Theoretically. <laughs> you smell something burning. I can't really tell. Right. Let's try this. Ah! Oh! Whoa. I wasn't bold before this. <laughs> <laughs> it's the little well. things that matter. Do you have any idea what to do Don't next? you have I more important things to be doing than keeping me from my work? Don't you have more important things to do than Who is being a jerk? Mess? Don't ask me. Shouldn't you be guarding some donuts and coffee right about now? Hey man, leave off, okay? I get a gun. You get a tie. It's a stupid tie. I know I'm wasting so much time, but I don't care. I love this game. All right, man. If you're waiting for the tram to Sector G, then you're probably better off walking it. I overheard someone say that all the trams on this end of the facility are having problems. Oh, God damn it, not again. By the way, gotta say, I love your sneakers, and I love your shirt. Not in any sort of... I just think it's cool that you guys have are able to take off the lab coats every once in a while, you know. Must be casual Friday or something, because... No, it must not, actually. I, I, I don't know. I never saw you guys without your coats on with, as, uh, Gordon, but, uh... Yeah. Maybe it's j just a different lab or something. Alright, so... No trams coming, huh? 
Oh, that's too bad. Guess we'll just have to make our own way over there. That's what I like. Straight into the action. Oh my god. Already going through. Going through these. Freaking. Goddamn. Places. <laughs> Wait a minute. No. No. Did I turn off the lights? No. <laughs> oh no. There we go. They were just never on. Man, it was spooky in here for a second. Ugh, oh, wouldn't want to get caught in here with my pants down. In a metaphorical sense. Oh, that'd be terrible. But yeah, this game was, uh... Oh. At least on the Dreamcast at one point, and, uh... You son of a bitch. What are you doing in there without a security clearance? Huh, I can't actually shoot him. It just doesn't do anything, I forgot. <laughs> um, it was released with the Dreamcast. Uh, comparable graphics to this. Um, this was actually an updated graphics, uh, upgraded texture pack that they released a few years ago, I think. Um, Dreamcast, gra Dreamcast graphics are a little bit lower quality. You'll notice that the the helmets of the guards have reflections in this. They don't really in the Dreamcast version if you played it, and if you don't have the higher definition textures on in an earlier PC version, they don't either, but... Yeah, otherwise it's pretty, uh... pretty much the same. Anyway, I'm gonna save here, because I see we're getting to our post, and, uh... You know, I just... I, I really want to do this job well. well. I don't want to... We don't pay you people to mosey around at your own convenience. Make oh, come on. this thing work so we can get on with this miserable day. Hey, the train was out, man. I mean, I'm, I'm getting here as fast as I can. Give me a second. I gotta, I gotta check everything, okay? Alright. Let's see. Well, I don't know what you guys did, but everything looks in the working order, so... What? What? Was that it? You guys just... <sighs> oh, God. Every single time. <sighs> anyway. How's it going, guys? I see you've got those, uh... Brand new vibrating shoes that the directors had you working on. It's probably those anomalous materials people again. Always pushing their equipment too hard. Dabbling in who knows what. I'd be surprised if there's one good brain among them. Yeah, I know, jeez. Hey, I never knew you scientists guys were all right. Hey, catch me later. We'll go get a beer. <laughs> oh. Jeez, what's going on? Alright, guys. No 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 worries. I'll get us running in a second. Uh there we go. Uh, not that fast. Uh, yeah, see, everything's fine. Uh, uh, hmm. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Sorry, man. I guess I. Oh, God. He's dead. going on here, man? I can't- I, I don't think I can handle this. Everything's going to hell around me. You can just stand there and watch. What's wrong with you? Uh-oh. Ah! Oh, shit. Ah! Well, everybody, duty calls. We're Barney Calhoun, security officer extraordinaire at one Black Mesa research facility. We've got a pistol, and we've got a crowbar. 
And I think you know what that means. Oh, god damn it! I can't jib corpses in this anymore? Oh, god damn it. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Half-Life Blue Shift.